welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody is having a great Friday. I know I am. Um, for those of you that are just found this video and you're stopping by, my name is Tanya. And for my subscribers and my faithful friends that are coming back, thank you so much. I really appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos when they come across because on YouTube, there is a plethora of things that you could be watching. So thank you for your time. On my last video, I had mentioned a fall haul coming up. So that's what this is all about. It is a fall haul. I hope to inspire you to um, get out and get you a few new things for fall or unpack what you have and let the ideas just start bubbling up as to what you want to do. I love fall. You know, and I've said this before, I think when I'm in the season, I just love all the seasons. Um, fall is fun. I love all the colors. Um, you know, the whole idea of the coziness and the sweaters and the cuddling up. Unfortunately, um, here in Tennessee, there's not a lot of sweaters and cuddling up and all that. I mean, our nights will get cool, um, but it's, you know, it's like late November, early December before I guess it really gets fall like feeling in my opinion. Anyway, enough of that talk. So I'm gonna get right into this fall haul. Now it's not a lot of things. I have a ton of fall decor, but there were just a few things that caught my eye that I wanted to get um, or, you know, maybe things that I had kind of thought about wanting last year and just never followed through. So that is one good thing I have to say about Hobby Lobby is that from what I've noticed, and I can't really speak to say if it goes on any longer, but um, one thing that I've noticed is if you don't get something on one particular season, chances are it's going to be there the next year. Um, they kind of, I, like I said, just from my experiences, I've noticed that things, you, you might have two to three years of, to get those items. Um, maybe not everything, but some things. That is one good thing about Hobby Lobby. I know some people don't like the, oh my gosh, they just bring back the same stuff. Well, you know, if you're not able to purchase every little thing you want, that's a good thing, right? All right, so we're going to start with florals first. Let me just say everything is off to the side, so it's, you know, I will be off camera some, and I apologize about that, but I'm just trying to grab things. But getting back, let's start with the florals. So I am going to, for my, um, summer tour. Some of you may remember that in the foyer, I have the ferns and the white hydrangeas. So I was thinking along the lines of, you know, something new and different to maybe place in that container if, if I do it like that. So I came across these sunflowers and chrysanthemum, I think is one of the other ones. So let's get these out. I've got this beautiful green and I think this is a chrysanthemum, y'all. Remember, I am not the flower person, my husband is, but that is just an absolute beautiful fall color. You cannot go wrong with that. And then if you have these two little sunflower, and these were pigs, that these weren't in the floral department. So putting that together, that is going to really look you know, welcoming and inviting. And I, when in the foyer, it's the first thing you see. So I'm always trying to find that wow factor. So hopefully I found it. And I'm gonna pair it with these. So I have gotten three, I think maybe four of these fern bundles that you can get at Hobby Lobby. Now, you know, in real life, when ferns look like this, you've probably already chucked them. Um, but in, you know, the make-believe world, in our artificial world, they're beautiful. And to mix with those sunflowers and chrysanthemums, I think this is, first of all, it's a huge, uh, you know, arrangement. It's going to take up a lot of room. And by the time you fluff it out and, and then you add those few things, um, I think it's just going to be stunning. And I also got... And I only got one of these, but I may go back and get some more. Are these, um, I don't know, I guess you would bury like pigs and they're sort of um, have like a, I don't want to say furry. Sometimes I really use some of the wrong adjectives, but they're textured and they're just really pretty. Um, and like I said, I may get two, but I think that it's going to just kind of be a different um, look in that arrangement. So I'm already, and they have yellow, like a goldenrod yellow in these. And I want to say they might have like an off-white, 
but um, always wait until your florals are 50% off. Never pay full price for anything at Hobby Lobby. I will say that the fall things that I got were 40% off. Um, and they tend to always do fall like that. It doesn't go 50 quickly, in my opinion. You're not gonna get things that you want if you wait around. So, you know, if, if you can buy it at the 40% and not wait for the 50, then that's what I would go for. All right, so the next thing that I invested in this year was some pillows for the living room. Last year, I put a, a heavy focus on the black and white. And as many as you know, I have had black and white going on pretty much since winter. And as much as I love it, by the time I put my fall out, I decided like I'm ready for some color. So last Saturday, Kirkland's was having a, they said, told me it was a one day sale um, where their pillows, all their pillows were 50% off. So I took advantage of that. And let's look at some of the ones that I got. So I started with this chenille type fabric plaid pillow. I have two of these and I love the like golden rod and the burnt orange and the creams. Uh, they had another uh, pillow like this with a different shade, more of the um, the softer, I don't, they're not pastel, but a little bit more of the softer shades of fall colors. But I went with this, this vibrant, um, you know, sort of, very warm, warm, earthy tone colors. And so I'll have two of those on either end of the couch. And I'm, and I'm only going with two on each end. I've had like, uh, or one on each end. I've had like two on each end and then a lumbar pillow sort of in the center. And it's just too many pillows. By the time we get on there and add the dogs, it's too much. But I did get um, this beautiful, cream colored, and you can see how it's textured, pumpkin pillow, just to kind of um, almost do, give that watermark effect in the corner of our couch. So very simple, but I think that, you know, it'll need some sort of a calming sense to it after adding the plaid. And again, these were 50% off. And then I also got this one with the textured Sherpa type, Sherpa, I think I'm saying that right, type fabric um, pillow. I thought that this would look really good. I usually have a basket <clears throat> with like a blanket coming out over by my fireplace or in the corner behind my couch. So wherever the basket ends up, I don't know. But I thought that this, you know, it complements my couch and adds a little bit of warmth. And then we've got this fun pumpkin on it. So super cute. I was um, eyeing this and I thought, well, that's, you know, that would be really pretty. But then when the lady told me they were 50% off, I was like, well, you're coming home with me. <laughs> okay, so now there's not, there's a lot of little things. Uh, I mean, not even a lot of that. I picked up a lot of tear tray things and a couple of things for the new coffee bar area that I um, have because I don't have any really, you know, things for that area. So let's look at some of those things and some of the tear tray things. Now for the coffee bar, I got this cute canister pumpkin and I have the smaller one too. Um, I guess I did buy this for the coffee bar, but I'm not sure if that's where it'll end up. I may actually put it on my chicken wire shelf. I'm not sure, we'll just have to stay tuned because I don't know where it's gonna go. But it does have a seal top, so if that, you know, you could actually use it. Um, if I do put it on the coffee bar, it'll have sugar in it. But I found these at Home Goods, um, and I was not gonna get them, but you know, I thought, well, I don't need them. I have so much fall stuff. And I was standing in line and my sweet husband got out of line and went back and got them because I just decided that it would be something fun to have. And if I do put them on that coffee bar to really make that coffee bar, bar just pop and look super cute. Now to go with the coffee bar I got at Hobby Lobby, they have these little um, sets now that I think, I don't know if they're specifically made for tear trays, but they're, um, I noticed, did they come out with them? I don't know, they're new to me. I'm not sure if they've had these for a couple of seasons, but uh, some of them just have the two little signs. I did see a couple of um, box sets that had four signs. So it was just a cute way to kind of get all of your, especially if you're new to tear trays and you don't have um, a lot 
of things purchased for that or in your little inventory stash. This is a good way to build on that. But I got this for my coffee bar. It says morning pumpkins. And then what does this one say? You had me at pumpkin spice. I'll be honest with you. Don't come for me, but I'm not a huge pumpkin spice person. Like I like pumpkin pie, pumpkin muffins. Like I like pumpkin, but does anybody else agree with me when I say that they just go a little overboard with the pumpkin and the pumpkin spice. I mean, it is just in everything. And I don't know, the more you push something at me, the more I kind of turn off of it. I'm never going to turn down a piece of pumpkin pie, but I'm also not going to have everything in my house pumpkin flavored or pumpkin smelling. That is just too much for me. Okay, so moving on with tear tray items. I found this little pumpkin at Hobby Lobby and um, has the little vines on top and it's uh, white with a little touch of like um, almost antique and look to kind of make it look older. They had this in orange and part of me wants to say black, but I could be totally lying to you. I'm not really sure. Uh, it does have a little lid. I've not unsealed mine yet but the lid comes off, but I thought that would be really cute um, sitting on a tear tray and you could kind of take the lid off and slant it and maybe have um, some fall leaves coming out of the pumpkin on your tear tray. Or if you don't want to use it in a tear tray, you know, this would be cute in a kitchen windowsill if you have something like that. Um, you could add this in your bathroom just to have a little touch of fall in the bathroom, but I thought they were really cute. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I may end up going back and getting uh, like an orange one. I'm not really sure. You'll have to wait for my fall decorating to see what we end up doing. Okay, now staying with the tear trays, I... I think that I may actually have something like this for Christmas. Oh, there's Luna. She is definitely um, inserting herself more into things and getting to know our family and the house. And she's terrorizing our dog. So life is like a circus around here right now. <laughs> but back to the haul. I found these little wooden spoons. And I feel like that I might have something like this um, in my Christmas stash. I actually think maybe they're little scoops, but I thought this would be really cute to kind of put, um, around the coffee bar. It's, and then I will not pack these up. I'm probably going to keep these out for Christmas. So I've known about these. I just, uh, I think I had seen, I might've seen them last year, but again, I didn't have the coffee bar. So super cute. Um, uh, everything right now to, is still 40% off. So these were like $4. So you know, what were they like a little over $2? You can't go wrong. Super cute. And in the tear trays, I also found now these tiny little hay bales. This is another thing. This is like, y'all, I, I have a problem. I'm just going to admit it. I may actually already have these. I'm not really sure, but you know, they're $1.99. They're 40% off. So you're paying just a little over a dollar. And if you like to decorate and you like to invest in your, you know, your decor and make sure you don't have to stop decorating and run to the store for a little over a dollar. It's not going to hurt, but super cute. They're going to look adorable on any tear tray. I also picked up these corn husks to add to floral arrangements. We have a corn husk wreath and are um, eyeballing a corn husk garland that we haven't decided yet. But anyway, whether you have those things or not, just to add to any of your floral arrangements, these little picks of corn husk are gonna be super cute. And again, $6, 40% off, a little over $3. That's really gonna add a little wow factor for not much money at all. Now, if you're an avid Hobby Lobby shopper, you recognize this little mug. Super cute, I have a pink one and a white one. Um, I didn't have one for fall, but I thought, not sure if I'll use it or not. You know, sometimes we buy things and we don't always use them like planned, but this would be cute just to have to go on a tear tray. Those little wooden spoons would look super cute coming out of it. Some tiny little acorns, pine cones. Again, it's going to add more depth and texture to a tear tray. So very cute. Last year, I invested in a couple of amber vases. I thought they were just perfect for the fall. They looked really good with some of your lighter um, florals coming out, like the cream colored florals. I think I used like a pop, put like a pompous grass in mine last year. It was really pretty. So when I saw the little amber mug, 
glass mug. Very cute for, you guessed it, a tear tray. And then I saw this little amber vase. Now these little things don't have to go just on tear trays. Again, like you can put things like this in a windowsill, put a little, um, a little floral pick in there, um, add the little wooden spoons, or if you have any like little galvanized metal spoons, cute just to kind of set up in a windowsill. Don't forget your kitchen windowsill. When I when we bought our house, that was one thing I loved is there's a window over the sink because not all kitchens have windows over the sink. And I just thought that that was ideal and I like to keep it decorated. Now I don't spend as much time looking out the window, out the back, you know, into the backyard like I had envisioned, but still decorate your windowsills. Okay, so one thing that I got last year um, that I added to my decor was copper. I have always been on the fence about copper. Sometimes I really like it and sometimes I don't. Um, I love to see the copper pots and pans hanging in kitchens. But, you know, I just, as far as cooking with them, I don't like the way the food tastes. But decorating is awesome. So, when I have the um, copper pitcher that Hobby Lobby had last year, and they also brought it back this year, and then I have the wooden lanterns with the copper tops and the leather handles from Kirkland's, which they have also bought, brought back this year, and you'll see those whenever I decorate for fall. Um, but Kirkland's has brought those back. They have three sizes. I have the small and the medium because I've never, I saw the large one time and it was not on sale and it was like a hundred dollars. It may have been more than a hundred dollars and I was not going to pay that for a lantern that I knew I was only going to use during, you know, one very small season. Um, but I am, have my eye on it and I'm hoping that it will go significantly low and I can grab it. But anyway, to go along with the copper, because I just thought that the copper would look great with the pillows that I purchased and kind of bring in those warmer tones. If you remember any of my decorating from last year, you know that I have a thing for the little houses. And this year Hobby Lobby has one with a copper top and I snatched it up. Now there, it does light up. Oh, I'm not going to pull the tag because you know, with my like, I'll turn it on and forget to turn it off, but we'll see it whenever I decorate, but super cute. And it's not a stark white, it's a cream. So it's just gonna add even more to that warmth fall colors that we're trying to bring in. And they also have the copper salt and pepper shakers. Um, and they match the, the little picture perfect. They have some mugs, but they're a much brighter copper. So, I, you know, I didn't get those last year. So when they brought these in, I thought, well, that might make a really pretty simple centerpiece on the kitchen table to have, you know, your pitcher and some florals coming out. And of course you gotta have your salt and pepper shakers. Um, I really like to keep my tablescapes very simple. It's, we have a dining room table, but we never go in there. Um, so we use that kitchen table. So, you know, when I have the elaborate tablescapes, it's kind of, it's, it's beautiful, but it's aggravating. So I was thinking simple, getting the point across will be really cute. Okay. Risers. You can never have enough risers. Even if, you know, you've got 10 stashed away there, it's still a good idea when you see one that you really like and it's on sale to pick up. Risers add depth to your vignettes, they bring the height in, they allow you to do layering. Um, you can really just change the look of whatever piece you're decorating by adding, you know, one or two of your items on risers. So they brought back the um, just simple little rectangle, square actually, riser with the little black feet. It's very cute, it's very farmhouse looking. I think I actually wanted this last year and I did, for whatever reason, talked myself out of getting it. So it's $10, 40% off, so just, you know, a little over $5. But this will not get packed up with fall. I will keep this out all year and use it, you know, probably in several different places. And I like the wood. The, anytime you add wood to a vignette, you're adding warmth and texture and it's just gonna allow you to do so much more with your vignettes. Now we have had hay pieces um, decor for a few years now, and all of a sudden they are just getting really popular. We have um, two or three different sizes, but we saw this at Home Goods this weekend, and as you can see, I mean it is—it's a pretty tall piece. And I was thinking about possibly putting this. Just ignore Luna; she's kind of crazy. Um, sorry. Um, 
I thought this would look really neat down on the base of the fireplace, um, just to kind of add a different height level, maybe with some pumpkins or, you know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the fireplace. I know it's gonna be very different this year, but this will just add that fall element and I love the height. I don't really have anything this tall, so this is gonna be great. Okay, so if you were with me last year, then you remember Nubby, and I cannot wait for Nubby to make his debut. So when I saw, and I kind of think they had him last year, and I, for whatever reason, didn't get him, but when I saw that Hobby Lobby had this cute little woodland looking squirrel, I thought, you know what, I am gonna get him. And I also got the um, hedge, the hedgehog, but I, I can't find him. I don't, I don't know where he's at, I've, you know, Oh, he's probably buried in my car somewhere. So I've got to find him. But I thought that he would just be super cute. A little, you know, friend for Nubby. Um, Nubby has been stashed away and is excited to come out. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Okay, also at Hobby Lobby in their fall decor. Um, but here's the trick. Like at one point, they also moved this over into the center section. Um, this year as a part of like their um, wall decor, but this was in the fall. I wanted this last year, one of these little ladders. Um, so my plan is to put this underneath the kitchen cabinets with like a fall wreath. You could hang a dish towel. Um, I'm not gonna pack it up, it's gonna stay out and I will either change out a wreath or put a dish towel or there's lots of things you could do this. You could also put this in the bathroom on the vanity. If you have a soaker tub that has like, um, you know, the, they have the ones where the, the tub meets the wall, you could put it in there and hang like some nice towels off of that. So this is lots of things. You could put it in your laundry room um, to do something cute with. This is a versatile piece that you could use in several different places around your house and it just kind of brings in that farmhouse look and allows you to add, again, different, you know, layering and texture to your decor. Okay, so it's fall, right? Let's finally talk about pumpkins. I have way too many pumpkins. I, the super large totes on wheels that you can buy. I have two of those totes that are completely full of pumpkins and different colors. I have the, you know, the lighter colors, the, the typical orange colors. I have white, I have teal, I have black, but that doesn't mean that I wasn't going to buy more pumpkins, right? Like I have this deal about pumpkins. I've got to have all these pumpkins. Last year I bought two sweater pumpkins, because it was all that I could find when I finally started looking for sweater pumpkins and decided that I liked those. Now, I did not find any sweater pumpkins this year, but to add to that and to add different um, textures to my little pumpkin pile, I did find these cute pumpkins. So at TJ Maxx, I found this really cute um, yellowish orange pumpkin, and it's um, sort of like a it almost reminds me of like a wool sweater and it was at TJ Maxx. So that's a different texture I don't have, super cute. And I had no, oh, this Kirkland's, sorry. I got this at Kirkland's and it was on sale. I don't recommend buying any of their things if it's not on sale. Uh, and same for Hobby Lobby, like wait until it goes on sale, they got a coupon. But it's the same material as the yellowish, orangish pumpkin, but it's a cream. So that's gonna look, tie in with some of the pillows that I bought and my couch. And I'm excited to use this. And I love the um, twine weaving that they use for the stem, super cute. I got this one at Walmart. So it is a little different. I'm not even gonna begin to try to come up with what this might be, but you can see how textured it is and you might know, same twine um, stem. I like that they're all matching on that. So that's gonna be cute. I don't go to Target a whole lot, um, but when I do, you know, it seems like I always say, well, you can't go to Target and not find something cute. So I did find this beauty. It is so big, um, orange, burnt orange, sweater light pumpkin same stem. This makes me happy. I like things to match. Um, so I liked it for the size and the color. Well, the size mainly though, um, cause it's just going to make a cute little vignette with all of these textured pumpkins together. All right. So my last piece, um, many of you know that all every season, 
our living room does not change from the yellow curtains and the yellow decor. My husband loves the color yellow and he just, he's all the time saying this room is just like sunshine to him. Well, last year he found some yellow pumpkins, which just shocked me, but he also found some yellow pumpkins this year. They have a silver stem. They're a little bit brighter, I think, than the pumpkins that he has for in here. Um, and they did come from TJ Maxx. That's not even true. They came from Hobby Lobby. So, of course, they were 40% off. They were a little pricey, though. Um, he got two of them. So, they were about $25 a piece, 40% off. But um, it, there's, there's just not much that he just goes head over heels for. So when he does, I'm not gonna like put my foot down and say, well, you can't have that. Um, but they are, um, you know, like the, uh, the breakable, they're not glass, but like the, um, ceramic. So they'll last us as long as we're into yellow pumpkins and, you know, let's just all really send Greg good, good messages that, you know, it's time for the yellow to go away. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, that is it for my haul. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If there's anything that you really just liked, and I know I don't do a good job at saying the prices. Um, I barely can remember where I got things from, but just drop me a comment and I'll let you know how much it was or where it came from. Um, I'm sorry that this video once again took a long time to get out. Um, as many of you know, school has started back and there is no tired like August tired until you throw kindergarten week on it. And then you're just, that's it. You're just done. Um, you know, August and kinders, whew, they just don't mix well. I've been coming home. I get home like around 2.45, 3 o'clock, you know, something like that. And if I don't just stay on my feet, if I sit down for just to sit down, I am out. My daughter woke me up the other night at 5.15 and she was like, are we eating dinner? Um, so it is just, just bear with any educator that you have in your life. They are exhausted um, and they are just wanting peace and quiet and, and rest. So if you can aid them in that. Um, but anyway, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you back here soon. Um, let's see, today is August, what, 19th. I am still not ready to decorate for fall. I just, I can't bring myself to it. It is too hot. Um, and I don't like to really decorate until at least September. I had planned on not decorating until, you know, actual fall, September 21st. My husband has talked me into decorating um, the first week of September. So hopefully I will have a video up. I know that I have talked about doing a yard garden tour, but I don't know if any of you are struggling to keep your things looking decent, but you know, it has cooled down a tad, but I mean, our yard just is, and some of our tropical plants, man, they are thriving, but some of the other ones, they're just like, you know, they're ready to go dormant. <laughs> they're just hot and tired. If I have a, a, a time this weekend where I notice everything is looking good, I'm just going to film it because I do think that some of you would absolutely love to see our backyard. Um, some of you wouldn't care anything about it. I'm not a big flower person, but it's my husband's hobby. So, um, that may or may not be coming. It's just going to depend on the weather and how things look. I don't want to show you something that looks awful. So anyway, with that being said, I'm, I'm hoping not to buy any more fall stuff. So there won't be another fall haul. Um, but we will, um, oh, I know what we're going to do. You guys can be on the lookout for, I am going to do a makeover on my hallway upstairs. I want, I have a, um, a gallery wall that I'm going to try to find like a, just a nice piece and take that down and, and, um, have something different up there. And then in our, uh, the, the big wall between our bathroom and our laundry room, I want to change that completely. So if one, if, and when I find what I'm looking for, I'm going to do a hallway makeover and hopefully that'll be before the fall because before I decorate, because I would like, you know, for you to see different things that you can do with your hallway. Our hallway is not very big, but you can still make them look fabulous. All right, guys, y'all have a great weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.